What's up guys? This is the Brokerman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War 3 Let's Play as the Swedish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we have got Mr. Backstrom who has uh, brought a contingent north to retake the city of Bordeaux and hopefully uh, restabilize our lines on the Spanish front. Shouldn't take too much to deal with them because lots of these troops, well, we significantly outnumber them and uh, they have two generals so it'd be nice to try and knock them out. Well, let's destroy them. And the main thing I would like to do in this episode is fight against the French and secure Torino and uh, Milan. <clears throat> that would be what I would consider wins. Because right now we need to be preparing the ground for the next war. So let's create a little miniature front line. Grenadiers and Foot Jäger on the right. First Foot Guard, Sphere Leif Leifgarde on the left. Split the cavalry up. Get the howitzers up. The Twelves might actually try and engage from back here. Sixes will follow us up. Mr. Backstrom will join the front line. Yep, the enemy are allowed to hold their ground. So the twelves unlimber. Yeah, the guns are firing. Oh, you guys might be going to the left around these mines. Six pounders just follow the lineup. Same with the howitzers. And my general can advance. Apart from that, no one seems visible, so let's just see if my 12s can engage. Ah, there we go. Get the regiment of the Dragoons at the minute, because they've just popped up on my screens. Actually, let's do... Slow-mo. Shot, shots away. That's a, that's a bad miss. Second shot, obviously classic, I'm not paying attention to it. That's the one that hits. Mm, they're welcome to charge as much as they like. And there's the fifth grenadiers. The irregulars. I mean, these are any dragoons. Ooh, blew a hole through my lifeguard. Let's see you men, halt. Keep my infantry moving. My light horse will be probably be enough to deal with them. Let's bring Mr. Backstrom onto the right flank. You're yeah, probably an artillery slugfest. That hasn't happened for a while. There we go. That's the second regiment done for. My 12s retarget the volunteers to the rear. It's part of the reason why I was able to defeat them so soundly was that they weren't able to fully deploy onto the field. Hearts is nearly up into position. Let's push my line up to the field. My Hearts are going to stay where they are. So unlimber the Hearts. Lifeguard, push around the flank, same with my cavalry. I heard another charge. Well, let's actually push my cavalry up towards the enemy guns. How it says engage the Voluntarios in the centre. Yeah, 
Are you charging? <laughs> yes, they are. I mean, they're... What's their general bodyguard unit? Yeah, <laughs> didn't really have much of a problem. Okay, so advancing through the woods. Get my howitzers to engage the partisans. Get the light horse to engage the guns. My heavy cavalry position ready Sir. for the... Sir. Our is Second Regiment attack. of Dragoons, we're not bothered about my general being attacked. No, oh, those Dragoons have dismounted. Good call. Okay. Bring up my battle line. There we go, my cavalry's dealt with the second regiment of dragoons. My Bjorn Borger engaging over the road. Oh, that's a bit loud. Actually, that's probably just a smidge. Hmm. Miss Spanish concentration of troops there. It's too bad. They are going exactly where we want them to. Deploy the cavalry. Okay, the guerrillas are routed. The general's routed. The guns are nearly going to rout. Should this be a bit? You men have engaged with volley fire for long enough. Follow it up with the bayonet, especially with an enemy square. Oh no, hold on. There we go, my grenadiers have knocked back this partisan unit. Push on into the flank of the grenadiers. So the fourth grenadiers are down, the militia's charging into the 30th. My horse guards charge into the rear of the 30th, my cavalry here. Glorious victory, sir. It's soon to be yours. Everyone chase a routing enemy. But I'm pretty darn sure. That's the enemy force defeated. Good stuff there. So that is Toulouse, uh, Bordeaux, sorry, not Toulouse. Brought back into the fold. Let's occupy the city so I can hopefully. Oh, weird, weird noises. Attack, uh, move these guys quickly back to Pamplona. So now we have quite a good position to push into core Spanish territory because I'd like you to push up to secure at least one of these bridges. One of you push north of this river here, then one of you hold to the south to guard this gap here, because they can't cross and get around us that way. 
So let's rebuild this and let's upgrade the merchant house. Still got this French force being frustrating. We can ignore them. I mean, in the main, we've got this army that's replenishing from attacking Venice. But obviously our main effort is we've got both these cities sieged. Actually, let's start rebuilding the dockyard and let's build two sloops here and repair the factory because I'm going to need a sloop to send a force over to, to Corsica, probably the force here at Torino once it's finished replenishing. And that will, that will soon be the end of the French. But Sven Zettisberg... Let us attack the French garrison here at Torino, because ultimately, if if they attack us, then we're sat in a land without any replenishment uh, and still sieging the city, so we may as well engage the enemy in one action. So, I am going to want my 12s in the battle line this time. These French at all are always a bit of a tough cookie. Let's put my Felt Jaeger on one flank. Deploying slightly chonky. I want to try and keep my force together and deploy intelligently as we advance. So. 12s up. I can't quite see where the enemy are at. Well, that's quite a nice position on the left, really. Advance just outside of the woods. Push up my howitzers. Yeah, they're being pushed up. Cavalry, get up on top of the high ground. Voltageur, Voltageur, 6th Regiment, well, 6th Regiment Horse Artillery. Yeah, I like our odds. we got a reasonable force mix. I mean, potentially, the 12s might actually be better up here to do some sniping at range rather than in the battle line, but at the very least, I can then put them... I can then, uh, then at least have them engaging the enemy with canister shot. They're on the move. But not necessarily towards us. Gotta be careful on the flank. Got two light cavalry on that flank. There's no cavalry on this flank to speak of yet. Engage their... Uh, Engage the enemy artillery. Well, I might want to actually instead push for the enemy cavalry. So everyone's going to be ready. Oh, I guess they can't hit them for some particular reason. Okay, it looks like we might be able... We might be able to take advantage of our sort of a superiority on the right flank. Keep my general close to the front line. Aha, got you into square first, matey boy. It might cause some upset to my gunners. But ultimately they've hit the square. So if they go after my guns... To be honest, my guns might even rout. Yeah. Eh. They'll probably come back, they haven't lost many men. Yeah. 
What are they? A regiment of Partisans. They are chewable. Okay, so the enemy right flank is advancing, so let's make sure our howitzers are backing up that flank. Commit my cavalry sooner rather than later. Ultimately, it's a lot of firepower to have idle. There we go, my 12s are back. Run my dragoons into the militia because they're already wavering. We need to start rolling up the right flank quicker. Sooner rather than later, I should say. Both my howitzers bombard the flank. We need to pick apart these. Oh, oh, yes, I'm aware. We need to pick off these formations on the flank so I can bring more musketry to bear elsewhere. They're coming at us on the fl on the other flank, so if I'm not winning there... Let's pick up those guns. Pick up those guns, and I want you to... A light horse, light horse... Canister shot. Barrage. They're bringing in... Well, they're only voltages. So let's go for the cavalry. We need to bring our general over here rapidly. Tenth light horse are inbound. So advance my cavalry to fight theirs. They haven't committed all their cavalry into the counter fight yet. So I can get my general over here to maintain his goodwill. Pivot my foot Jaeger. Push on into the Voltageur. Push on into the Voltager, because these guys are just skirmishes, so they should go down pretty quick. I mean, they've broken. They will come back, but I can bring my cavalry back at least. My gunners are routed once more. I can now probably stand to get my infantry more, my general back over towards the centre. I hit my howitzers to focus on their cavalry. If they want to charge, we can dump into square formation. Go on, militia. Turn a new. Okay, 
The light horse is still on the move. Oh, the, the cavalry have broken. So my line just hold. Oh, the twelves are back again. I don't think the 27th or the 33rd are going to be around for very long. Another devastating volley. Pivot my line. There we go. So now I can actually take the bulk of my line and now say, okay, let's move. It should be the light horse, although they are very experienced light horse. Can't ever take that for granted. They are experienced. My general over here. Withdraw the cavalry. Can't do anything about the guns. Make we have men killed their general. Which can try and chase down some of their commanders. Got our cavalry back out on the flank. Well, not kill their commanders, but you know, kill some of their significant troops. My horse guards can push up, ready to threaten the Voltageur. Let's redeploy. Get my light, get my other cavalry in here. It's so you, you, and you. My light, my heavies will smash into the Voltageur. Yeah, they're broken, so now that means we can turn their flank. There you go, they got some experience. Push on into the conscripts, maintain some. Ah, it's, yeah, these, a couple of these units have come back. Well, we'll come back. Let's take these two units, take them away from my front line, and just rebuild it more like this. Pull my cavalry back. The light horse have come back, so withdraw. There's my 12, actually. You guys can attack 27th. Get my howitzers just to keep opening up on the enemy. Voltage are back, infantry leger are back. Our men are running for Beyond Borgs, I mean yeah, they would they did take a they were taking hits from quite close to the French line. You guys can continue to engage. Let the, let the men on the left keep running around. You guys push up either side of that one unit. 
You men are mass charge the voltage. Yeah. My light horse go after their ninth ho light horse. Keep moving the line. Even keep attacking the conscripts. My heavy cavalry can now get involved to fight the voltageur. And they now have broken as well. There you go, my. Finnish troops have returned. My heavies are engaged, you know, my lights are engaging the enemy horse artillery. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. The men are fatigued. Everyone's fatigued. Voltageur upset. They're not graphics. Trouble is, matey boys, you are surrounded. Tenth light foot here. Pound them with howitzer fire because they're the only actual proper unit that's in good spirits. Could chase them down, but. There's no point, there's only the 19th Regiment of Foot and the 10th Light Foot left to engage. Push my Foot Jaeger down onto the flank. The field itself is just full of routing dead Frenchmen. So you men advance up the road. Well, there go the Voltageur. Congratulations, 34th. You can bag the Voltageur and hope maybe get up, go up an experience level. Sadly not, by the looks of things. So there go the 10th Lightfoot. So we're going to send in our Dragoons because it is very... Oh, no. I was going to say it's very unlikely that these guys will stay routed. How it's a shell's coming in. Noise. A great victory for Sweden, and we've secured yet another major city from the French. We are going to peacefully occupy. Oh. Noise. Don't need to repair the Court of Appeals, don't need to build roads. Build a sloop to protect your ass. So Mr. Zettisberg, can you men leave Torino? You can, because they're a good Catholic people. You guys go south and be ready to sh be shipped towards uh, Corsica, elsewhere. Luc Molnier. French infantry. What have we got actually in this force? A lot more artillery. But I think we better just crack it. Crack Milan open, as we've got the strength, and we've also got forces up in uh, Switzerland, which we can bring south if this goes horribly wrong. Let's keep maintain the pressure, 
Because right now that means there's only Corsica and Venice. Ooh. That's quite a good position for 12 pounders. Good. Let's just bring my sixes up in the battle line. Again, because we are fighting against the French. They are quite sturdy as far as morale goes. There we go. Light horse, dragoon guards, horse guards. Ooh, very heavy cavalry focused here. Dangerous. Uh -huh. They deployed up. Well, I already hear a cavalry charge. You're welcome to try. And just keep pushing up our troops. Keep our 12s engaging their artillery. So it's the 22nd Light Horse, 1st Escadron de Garde. De la Garde. And they look pretty good. Just going to maintain eyes on. Because ultimately all of these troops can deploy into square. They're not afraid of the French cavalry lurking in the woods. Hold the guns, because it looks like that's what they might be going for. There we go. Ah, it doesn't matter if we don't deploy them into square. Yeah, see. There is another unit on the charge. So the 3rd Grenadier Regiment drop into squares. You men just about managed to drop into square. Sir. Sir. Ooh, Our the, general is under the attack. rotters. Unlimber my howitzers. We do see a bit of a more evidence of their actual infantry force. But we are going to push through the woods. You men drop into square two. There's no easy targets for you here, Frenchmen. Which will be barrage. But there we go. It's yet another French cavalry unit pounded into the dust. Although I do wonder if this is necessarily the best place to put my six pounders. So you guys are going to, well to be honest we are going to push through the, through the, uh, the woods. So the enemy artillery here is it necessarily a massive problem? I mean, there is enemy infantry in these trees. Oh, everyone's making ready. The 25th Light Horse have decided they want a taste of death. Bit of a bit of a bummer. They hit the, those troops, but they gave them a solid volley and saw them off. The 19th light horse are going to hit my fourth grenadiers.
Okay, so my I must have shift clicked my artillery. There are some nasties hidden in these trees. Thirteen flight horse are trying again. My lifeguards are not going to get them rearing up. Switch, switch targets onto the right flank. I mean, that's only got to be considering units I can see, right? Uh, general. Get my general over here because he is desperately needed. Because these guys are going to take a real hammering from those sappers. Get these squares out of square formation, get them formed up, push my cavalry up. The grenadiers are experiencing mischief. Format. Counter charge them just before they get to our lines, but they've routed. There's cavalry involved, which is not ideal. My light horse can fight their light horse. Let's get my heavies into the centre and start knocking out some of these French swines. You men charge the grenadiers, 13th grenadiers. Get my heavy cavalry into the centre. My general's going to blow on his little little hooter. Get my cavalry involved. My lights can chase down their lights. My heavies hit their 18th regiment to foot. That means you men can pivot. They might smash Our my line. Inspire! Fold my flanks in. Interesting. You men engage the Volteur, you guys are getting bogged down. Kill their general staff, that'll even the odds. Get my general out of the dodge. Oh, he's had enough. Canister shot hit the French. Pull this Swedish unit back. Will you try and hit that flank there? Bring my cavalry forward, bring this cavalry forward. Ah, that's not gone super well. You men try and hit the 35th. It's not ideal now, I need to just keep charging my cavalry everywhere. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest. I'm sure they are. We need to create some sort of semblance of a battle line. Hit the artillery in the centre. My general staff has returned. Excellent. Exploit a French weakness here. They're going for my artillery, my howitzers. Can you men knock out the general staff? You guys have absolutely slaughtered the uh, French in the woods. Now they must break. Pivot my line. Let's get 
my general over here. So, this formation, advance! Fortunately, a good amount of this victory goes down to my heavy cavalry just planting themselves in the woods and just attacking everything they can get their hands on. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. I know they're fatigued, but don't they realise the what relies on them here? It looks like you guys can't even shoot. Bit of a bummer, but... There we are. Let's get my sixes to point towards the centre of his last French penetration. Sappers have come back. 15th Regiment of Line has come back. Get all my remaining cavalry to go hit that unit of voltager so I can pivot you guys away. My 12s. Barrage the enemy line. Human advance, human advance. You guys get a fantastic opportunity to pump fire into the flank of the 13th Grenadiers. With impunity. Okay, get my heavies back. Get them to hit that unit of voltager, see if you can make them break. Actually, I doubt you can, because you're wavering already, so they're probably going to route. Let's see if we can isolate and destroy these units, which I think we can, and we have. We're then going to redeploy some of our men. Unlimber my six pounders. They should be able to get some shots off at this remaining cluster of French troops. So get my general to try and do some damage to these Frenchmen. Come on, cavalry, get out of the way. Get my 12s. My 6s can attack too. Group my cavalry on the flank. There we go. French have been pushed back. Their original attack has been absorbed and defeated. My general's doing a little bit of cleaning up. Come on. Let's maybe get a horse guard unit back here to cover. Howitzers re-engage the classic target. There we go. So the 43rd foot have recovered. They're confident, but they're exhausted. Whereas the 48th are wavering and exhausted because they got smashed in a bayonet charge. Yeah, they might fancy their chances against you, 35th Regiment. 
You're only 66 men. Yeah, you're gonna break easy. Let's get my heavy, get, not my heavy cavalry, but get my cavalry to try and attack the 23rd because they're routing with uh, roughly half strength. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest away. Towards my artillery. Very tired, winded. Let's make sure my general's back in the line. The 12th can pursue them. My, begun my gunners are, con are engaging in the centre. Push my cavalry up on the left again. Over at the 46th Regiment. The Légion Belge Grenadiers. Don't worry, men. We own Belgium now. Continue to advance. Barrage. Barrage. Open up on that enemy position. Pound them. Still advancing. It's only 95 of them. Charge my cavalry onwards into the sappers. Yeah, there they go, the sappers have been destroyed. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. There we go, the enemy have been knocked out. Let them continue to be engaged. We did see, yeah. Classic. This is why you have to keep them pursued. Otherwise they do silly things like return from combat, like right then. Artillery cease fire. I mean, the 14th could well route out of this, but... See, these Grenadiers have come back. Try to get my howitzers to limber up. My light horse charge in. Hit the flank of the 15th Regiment. There we go. Broken. Don't mind the cavalrymen, they're just gonna run away. There you go, the 15th are down. So it's all up to the 13th. You guys are, well, two of you guys are fresh. The 3rd Grenadier Regiment and the 49th Regiment. You men run up and engage that 13th regiment at point blank at point blank range. There. It's already opening up. The third regiment. The officer fired his pistol. <laughs> The destruction of the 13th. Oh, 
Pardon me. Nice. Hurrah! So this has been a fantastic turn for our empire. Because that is a number of key cities taken, which we're going to occupy. Build the Court of Appeals, upgrade the Drill School, upgrade the Great Museum, upgrade the roads, upgrade the mine. We've got another university, but we do not need it. Good, so you do want a position to face off against the Papal States. But for now, let's trade with the Papal States. And let us trade with Portugal. Good. So you, man, Anders, you're going to be ready to defend, or to, uh, you're going to replenish to ready to face off against Venice. Everywhere else is actually pretty good. In terms of our recruitment, still coming along strong. Got another block of, I mean, I know I wanted to, wanted to start making um, garrison units, didn't I? But I think that's just a better decision. Just keep building actual armies. Although, that is 9 units plus these... Uh, 11 units plus these 9, that will be enough. So, let's recruit a gunner. What, enlist a new general? Oh, let's get Kurt von Stedink, because he's been here for a while now. Good. 9,992 a turn. Because now we've sorted out here, we can start to work out what we want to do. We're probably going to want an army to face off against Rome, an army to f an army in Venice, then an army ready to strike up north against Innsbruck. So we need three here. And we have three. We have four, when this army in Luzerne could be redeployed. Potentially up into central German region up here. Or do they get redeployed to go land against Britain? Because, I mean, they have been bankrupt and significant financial issues for a long, long time. Um, but apart from that, nothing immediate to research. Well, we get, next time we'll get Limited Liability Company, which gives us a good bonus to Town Wealth. But after that, they're not going to be able to research anything, in which case then, then Schleswig will actually switch to a, a banking house or some such like that. Mm -hmm. Another army marching into the field. French Empire? Yeah, they, can, they don't have the strength to attack uh, Marseille. I don't know why. It took, me, it took me a while to work that out. They don't have the strength to attack Marseille, and we have a force behind them. We could send an army west but from uh, northern Italy, but there's no demand for that. As it stands, we are uh, we're in quite a good position. We've got three armies to take the Iberian Peninsula. Now we've got uh, well, one of those armies will have to go take Palma to knock out the Spanish Empire. But then those troops, those armies can start to be can probably be redeployed to fight against Great Britain. Mm, don't worry, Russia. When the war starts with Russia, I'm going to want an army to land and take St. Petersburg. Yeah, the Spanish are, de the Spanish are uh, deploying their men. Actually, okay, should we try and not annoy the, 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 uh, the pontifical states that much? Let's actually just send them over to Budapest. City besieged, Marseille. Well, yeah, because we get a bunch of militia and you can't attack it. Not with that strength. So we're going to march you south. Four turns to surrender. I mean, I could just sally out, but there's no point. Tick advance LLC. So now you have no purpose. So Schleswig, you've done well. Uh, you could be dismantled. Down here at Florence, you can become a market. Okay, good stuff. Can you guys leave Luzerne? Minus four. Not quite yet. But you will. 
good amount of recruitment being done. Actually, no, just get those guys across for now. Then get you guys back to Finland. Just mass recruit troops. Enemy raid in the vineyard. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just prepare the vineyard for now. Works on strike in Ligeria. Yeah, now they're okay. Path blocked, Mr. Koch. Nah, he's fine. General available, Gull Barland. Nice. You have your marching orders down towards Hanover. Uh, hmm. You're going to continue replenishing because you did get hit quite bad. Apart from that, I think what I'm going to do. But no, you need to, you're still replenishing, so let's let you replenish. Let's not go mad. Again, Mr. Um, Backstrom is also replenishing. Then he can he can push west and threaten some of the enemy territories from the north. Apart from that, we're going to hit end turn again, I think. Let the world keep on turning on its axis. Ooh. Austrians are pushing towards Venice. So, let's see anything happens. I mean, we do have a stupendous amount of wealth, so that's why I'm kind. I'm pretty okay with just keep mass recruiting. Let's see your blukers around trying to do something. Oh, hello! Are the Russians are going to push down towards Venice as well. That's a lot of Russian troops. Ooh, and they might. Ooh, don't don't get there. You can try and cross over the other bridge. You are. Understandable. So we've got our, our new industrial gold mine built. I mean, I might auto this. Because look, this force with artillery. Yeah, we'll be fine. You chaps. Destroy the remaining cavalry. Repair the fort. Okay, so you men combine. You chaps go back to Finland. So in two turns, your recruitment will be done. So let's get you to start to recruit. Bunch of artillery. And some heavy cavalry. Yep, yeah, you're on your way. So now I think Mr. Ben Mr. Bengston can leave Luzerne. Minus three. Oh, still not really. Finn Bile. Well, uh, are they going to push the city with that? I don't think they will. I mean, next turn they might. But to be honest, actually, if that what would be perfect is they can, is if the Austrians push, they'll get to just outside of the range of the city, give Anders another turn to replenish, and then I'll attack Venice and bring Austria in as an as a uh, supporting actor. But what I'm going to have to do is bring Mr. Almquist south here. Now let's engage the French, Horacio Salazar. I'm going to engage this Spanish general to prevent her from crossing the river. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for yet another battle on the Spanish frontier. Cheers, everyone.